Hello everyone, Taki Dhiraj here. This video is about the Amrita CTF qualifier round uh, challenges. So I have solved many challenges. I am going to give write-ups for them. This is the first challenge of uh, binary exploitation which is uh, of category Pawn in the qualifier round. Challenge name is Overwrite Me and the points for that challenge were 100. So this was the description for the challenge. And this is the uh, address where uh, that binary was uh, running. Okay, so let's jump into the binary. So this was the binary uh, given. And as you can see, this is a 30 bit, 32 bit uh, LSB exec executable and it's not stripped. And it's a dynamic linked binary. So what we can do here can load it into uh, GDB and uh, before analyzing the GDB let's uh, open some decompiler so I use basically Ghydra for that so let's uh, decompile this binary so I have already added this uh, path of this binary in the my Ghydra project So this is the uh, binary. So uh, as you can see, this is a uh, all the analyzed files are here. So if I can directly jump into main, so this is the main code. So as you can see here, uh, this is an array. So this binary is asking for some input, as we can see here in get s. This is the array, it's asking for 32 bit bytes uh, uh, from the uh, command line. But as we know, get s doesn't check for the limit of the array, it will it takes uh, input until there is a slash n, which is a new line character. So, and after that, uh, there is a this integer, and we can see here this integer is getting compared with the value of uh, hexadecimal 1234 so if that condition got to like it if it returns if it, this uh, condition returns 1 then this if will be uh, true and it will go inside this and returns a shell so th that's what we want so what we can what we can do here is we can uh, overflow this buffer uh, more than 32 bytes and after that we can write this value into local 14 integer and then we can get this shell so let's jump into the mind gdb so this is a gdb i added a breakpoint uh, just to show you the so this is the code as we can see here this is the get us where it's a uh, uh, taking input from the user and here is a compare so here as you can see here this is the integer address where integer local 14 is stored and this is the value it's being compared with 1 2 3 4 so let's add one breakpoint here okay And add one breakpoint here. So if I continue here from it, will, it is asking for input. So if I give six bytes, so let's see. Where those six bytes are. So if I am at the uh, top of the stack as you can see from here these are the six bytes are written here so this is a lower address and we are moving to the higher address so as ebp is here if you're familiar with the memory layout so it would be easier for you to understand like ebp is here so it's uh, at d8 so it's starting from here and uh, because ebp will be at higher address and stack moves from higher address to lower address so uh, array will be stored after EVP okay so that's why it's stored after EVP and because 
as you can know there are lot of bytes in between because arrays of 32 bytes and there will be integer as well okay so what we can do here we can uh, pass the uh, 32 bytes of uh, array and then we can pass the 1 2 3 4 hexadecimal for to write into the integer memory area so let's just directly write the payload for that so this is the 32 bytes and after that i am adding hexadecimal 1234 okay so because 1234 is a uh, directly showing so it means uh, before that there will be 00, zero. so this is what i wrote okay so but as we know like uh, in the because this is a little little indian uh, so we have to reverse this otherwise it will uh, this uh, zero zero will be stored at the uh, lsp side so we need to reverse it so we can reverse using like this and if i pass into some file and if i load this so if i do this as you can see it's written one two three four here so this is the hexadecimal which wrote so all the buffer is overflowed with the 32 bytes and after that this variable is there so you can see this from here also if uh, this is a compare currently the execution is stopped at compare because we are at a breakpoint so if i just to step in and uh, it will be at uh, jump not equal if i do one more step then you can see so it's at the it goes past the compare instruction got passed and that's why it's going to the next line next instruction okay so what we can do because we saved this into one file as you can see here we saved this into one input file so i will just uh, use the this uh, input file for this uh, on this server okay so let's just uh, take this and because like this you can pass the input through the pipe to the particular binary okay if i do this if i do ls here you will find the flag so this was the flag which we had to submit for that so this is all for it thank you all